Hi guys, I've had a few questions already on how to connect the Yamaha DD75 to model drums which I recently purchased. It's very straightforward. I'm sure a lot of you already know how to do that, but just in case you don't, I'm just going to explain in very simple terms how you do it. You install them on your computer and you can trigger them via an external device. So instead of using the sounds inside the DD75, which are very processed and very limited, it's much more enjoyable to at least record uh, yourself using external sounds, which are much better. The process of doing that is very simple and it's done through a, a protocol called MIDI. MIDI is a very, very old pot protocol, 25, 30 years old or something like that, which basically allows an external device to transfer musical information to another device. It's just a communication protocol. This is what a MIDI cable looks like. It's exactly the same two ends. So all you have to go to do is buy a MIDI cable to the lens that you need. Now, where it gets trickier is where you're going to plug your MIDI cable. And a lot of the, the time, what you need to plug this into is an audio interface that's able to convert the MIDI signal into your computer. I'm going to show you all of that. That's very, very straightforward. But if you have nothing at this stage, then it does require a little bit of investment. So let me show you the different pieces of equipment and how it all connects together. So here's the DD75. And as you can see here, so I'm going from the MIDI out of the Yamaha into the MIDI in of my MIDI interface. And all you do is you connect the MIDI out into the MIDI in, which is on the back of the device. This MIDI interface is going to connect to my computer and then my computer is able to receive the signals. So I'm going to go to the computer and show you that. This is the cable running from the MIDI interface inside the booth all the way to my computer. That's just the USB uh, little station connecting to my computer. And that's it, I'm done. Basically from this point, um, every time I hit the DD75, I'm going to be able to trigger the sounds of Model Drum. I'm using Model Drums with an additional software, Presonus Studio One, and what that allows me to do is not only just to play Model Drums, but also to record the notes that I'm playing, so I can play back and um, uh, make videos with it. And now, if you look at here, I've got the volume on zero, and you're just going to hear the volume of my computer. So that's it. I'm using the DD75 to trigger the sounds of model drum into my computer. It's very straightforward, but you're going to need a few pieces of equipment. Unfortunately, they do cost a little bit of money and you can um, do that quite cheaply if you buy everything secondhand. Don't buy the MIDI cable secondhand, buy the MIDI cable brand new. You don't want to um, have a fault and be wondering whether it's the cable or whether it's something else. So get a really good high quality MIDI cable of the right lens between your DD75 or whatever you're using and your laptop or computer, make sure it's the right length. The second thing that you're going to need is an, is an audio interface that's able to receive the information from the MIDI cable. So that's it. I know a lot of you already know how to use MIDI, but there's always someone new at some point. And uh, if this is you, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Don't hesitate to leave comments if you have questions and I'll answer them ASAP. And make sure to like the video, subscribe if you like what I'm doing. It really helps with um, YouTube showing my videos in the searches. So if you can help me with that, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.